guys, welcome on to AFC Game by Game. And yes, we've done it, we've beaten Fenerbahce, home and away, and we're going to be playing in a pivotal of football, the Champions League. I'm over the moon with this result. If someone had said to me before the start of these two games, you're going to be beating Fenerbahce 5 0 on aggregate, I'd have taken it like that. I'm just so pleased. Uh, the squad reflected today how serious this game is. The likes of Wilshire started this game, Sanya, who again played at centre back, and he is looking so well suited to that role at the moment. He looks like a naturally developed centre back. He was absolutely phenomenal today. His tackles, his work rate, his fitness, he is at a physical peak at the moment. He's got to be one of the best defenders in our squad. Uh, Jenkinson as well had a really good game. Overall, I'm really happy with the squad that was put out. Monreal, haven't seen a lot of him this season. And again, he was another standout performer for me. Fair enough, a few of the players did make a couple of errors in that. First half what well, well, was fairly dull. I mean, not much went on. We were just laying back, keeping a lot of possession. Uh, Fenerbahce, towards the end of the half, did have quite a few chances on goal. I mean, the shots were fairly equal. We both had eight chances. We uh, just um, put ours on target a bit more. And uh, to be fair, we did score a goal halfway through that first half through Aaron Ramsey, who again put in a standout performance. He was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, his work rate is amazing. He gives 110% for the team. Him, Wilshire were both absolutely fantastic. Uh, his goal was fairly simple. I mean, the Fenerbahce defence don't know what they were doing. They, didn't, they failed to clear it. It was a simple tap into the back of the net. Uh, I'm really happy for him to score now. That's another goal. Um, it's it's great. Um, so I can't um, put into words how proud I am of Aaron Ramsey that he's got past all the doubters and the people that hated on him, and now he's proven that he's going to be one of the best midfielders in the world. Um, maybe a lot of people disagree with that, but I honestly think, at for his age and his attributes, in given a couple of years, um, maybe even this season, he could become one of the best midfielders in the world. He is an absolutely outstanding player and he is the one player in that midfield that is going to be key to us if we are going to win a trophy this season. So we started the second half very similarly to the first, uh, very laid back. Uh, admittedly we were quite stronger in that second half, we were dominating a lot more, had a, quite a bit more possession and it was pretty much all us from there on in. Uh, one talking point was in about the 50th minute Podolski went off with an injury, he was stretched off. I'm not quite sure what happened from my point of view, I couldn't see a lot of it but either way he was stretched off so it's quite serious. Wenger said he's going to be out for three weeks, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And I'm really, I'm, I'm really upset about this. Not only because uh, he's at such a good point in his career at the moment. Uh, I think we need him for that North London derby because well, we're very lackluster, especially on that left hand side of him gone. He's just getting to a peak where he's starting to score goals and he's giving his all for the team. And I saw again today he was giving his all for the team. Uh, and the fact that he's going to have to take three weeks rehabilitation and then come back and do that all again. Uh, it's a real shame because he's just getting to his best. He was starting to show that he was a world-class uh, forward. And it, overall, I'm really upset that he's going to be missing a couple of games. Um, it's the same with Oxley chamberlain They both play in similar positions. And now you've got to say, look, we've got to buy. We've got to buy there. So a bit later on into that second half, we did see the introduction of Yaya Sonogo, who came on for Olivier Giroud. Giroud uh, didn't have his best game today, admittedly. Um, I thought in that first half he wasn't great. He did miss a sitter. Confidence is still very high on him. He's still got a nice bit of French arrogance about him, which I like. He's going to be a big part of our season, but I do think we still need another striker. Uh, for, but from what I saw of Sonogu today, didn't impress me much. I know he's only young. Always come with experience. Uh, it's a good experience for him to play this kind of game. He was very intense. He did look very strong on the ball, very versatile, but he had a lot of very poor shots on goal. Didn't impress me as such, but I'm sure he'll prove me wrong in a couple of years' time, and he will become a world-class centre-forward. So we'll hope. So shortly after the introduction of Yaya Sonogu, we saw another goal through Aaron Ramsey. Uh, this time it was a really well taken goal. I think it was on his right foot. Uh, it was a volley and it was sublime. It was a fantastic goal. I've got to give so much credit to Ramsey. He gave an absolutely outstanding performance today. Worthy of another man of the match performance. Confidence is going sky high in him. Like I said, he's going to become a world class midfielder. Uh, this is going to be a big, big season for him. I'm so glad he's gone to this point now. Uh, it's going to be a big game for him in the North London derby as it is for the rest of the team. Uh, and overall, I'm really happy for Aaron Ramsey at the moment. So we did see one of our younger players come on, the young Rio Michi, number 30. He was rather exciting. He looks like a talented prospect. He's very pacey on the ball, very skillful. A couple of weak passes, but he did, he did give his all for the team, tracking back, tracking forward. Uh, he looks like he's going to be a quality player. He's um, very, like I said, very pacey and very skillful, very talented. I'm sure he's going to be a big hit at Arsenal at some point. Again, it's good experience for him. He is only young, all to come with time, and I'm sure he's another player that could develop into something really special. Um, like I said, overall, the performance today is fantastic. Big, big game against, uh, against Spurs next Sunday at 4pm. Uh, thankfully, we're at home for that game, so maybe another 5-2 on the cards. I don't know at the moment. I think we've got to bring in a, new sign, a couple of new signs first, so 
Van Gaal counts on you now. You've got to bring in a couple of new players. We need a keeper. Still think we should go for Julio Cesar. Uh, a centre back, maybe a, a holding midfielder, maybe, but our midfield is looking very versatile at the moment. And a new striker and a wing. I think that's where we're very lacklustre at the moment, especially on that left hand side. Like I said, now we've got no Podolski and no Chamberlain. But hopefully, then we can put some faith in Wenger. Hopefully, he will go out, spend quite a bit of money, and we can uh, see some new additions to the squad before that game against Spurs. But I'm very happy that we've gone to the Champions League. We're going to be playing the likes of Barcelona and Bayern Munich now. Uh, it's, it's a great success. Hopefully we can um, build on this though. Hopefully we can push for a trophy this season. Got to keep a bit of faith in the squad, especially if we do bring in some new players. Uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on the game. So if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching guys.